In the series of learning programming in C, I'm going to start a new concept in C that is arrays in C, right? We will discuss everything about array. First of all, what is need of array? What is array? The proper definition, declaration of array, types of array, initialization of array, different type of operations uh, that you can perform on arrays in C, right? But all the things I'm going to discuss in detail with minute details. So that would be in separate videos. In this video, I'm going to tell you the basics like what is need of array, right? Why, why you use array in C? And array in any programming language, not in C, C, C++, and any programming language, Java or Python, anything, right? What is need of array? Then we will see proper definition of array and then we will see what declaration of array, right? And first of all, I'll, uh, I'll you know, uh, teach you on this uh, whiteboard the logic. I'll tell you whatever thing, the theory part. And then I'll show you this concept means practical of arrays how arrays can be declared, what error you will get if you uh, do this type of declaration on my laptop, right? So one thing you need to take care, you have to get ready with your laptop first of all. If you are, you want to learn C programming, it's not like that, just watch the lecture and that's it, you got the concept, no. You have to be get ready with your laptop with any ID installed. In my laptop, I have VS Code editor. So I'll show you there. If you don't have, please install that thing or any other ID in which you are comfortable, right? But you have to practice the concept on the same day. If you are watching this lecture right now, you got this concept arrays, you have to practice after this lecture on your laptop. If really you want to learn C programming, right? And that is the biggest mistake every beginner do. Yeah, it's a very simple concept. Hai. It's a silly thing. No need to practice. We will jump direct to the complex concept, right? The uh, complicated concept. That is the biggest mistake. Even the concept is very small, very simple, you have to practice that thing also, right? So now back to the topic. First of all, we'll discuss why arrays, need of arrays in any programming language. Here, I'm discussing arrays in the context of C programming, right? I hope everybody is aware about the fundamental data types, int, float, care, right? Now, see, if I write something like this, if you want to store a number, if you want to process any number, if you want to store in that memory, in the computer memory, what you need to do, you have to declare a variable. It means you have to, you know, take a variable and there only we can store what any number you want to store, right? Like int a, this is what declaration of a variable of type integer, right? Now, here it means what compiler will do what? Some memory allocation would be, allo memory would be allocated to this a, right? a is in a what name of variable, the data type is integer. Now memory is what? It's something like this. So memory is what? These are what? Bytes. This is one byte, one byte, one byte. So this is what? Memory. It's type uh, like a long tape of, you can say these are bytes. So now in this memory, what? How many bytes could be allocated to this A? Size of integer is what? It depends basically on machine to machine, right? Somewhere it takes two bytes or somewhere in some compiler it takes four bytes. Whatever I am using, it is, it is taking about 4 bytes. So we cannot say uh, you know, directly that integer will take 2 bytes or integer will take 4 bytes. It can take 2 also, 4 also, it depends on your machine, right? Here I am taking that is why integer will take about 4 bytes. So 4 bytes would be allocated to this A, like suppose from any address. Address is what suppose this is 1000. Address is what in the form of hexadecimal form, but for simplicity purpose I am taking just 1000. So this is what 1000, this is what 1001, 1002, 1003, something like this. And suppose these 4 bytes has been allocated to this A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 bytes for integer or you will take 2 bytes, right? Now whatever number if you initialize, if you want to store 5, like I am initializing 5, so here this 5 would be stored, first of all it would be converted into binary, then it would be stored here, right? So now for simplicity purpose, I'm not taking these bytes, I'm converting it something like this. Just one box, the name of this memory location is A, here we have stored 5 and the address of this is what? 1000. These 4 bytes, base address is 1000. So we will see, we will take what? Address is what? 1000, right? Now see, if you want to store here another number, 6 I want to store, what you will do? Here 6, so this 5 would be overwritten, means 5 is no more now and we have stored 6. Now we want to store 7, 
so now 6 is no more we have stored 7 it means what i hope you are getting my point you can store only one number right if you want to store another number the previous number has gone right but practically you we want to process you have to process large amount of data if suppose if i want to in my class i have 60 students so now i want to store row numbers of 60 students now how i can store one way is what i can declare what a b c like int a int b int c and 60 variables you can declare in and in one variable i can store row number one here row number two row number three like this obviously this is silly thing no need i mean uh, nobody wants this kind of thing if you do this kind of thing your program will be what filled with uh, declaration and this initialization of variables only we don't want this kind of thing right so that is why what i want can we do something like this under one variable name only i can store 60 numbers yes that is possible with the help of arrays now that is called arrays right under one variable name i can store more than one data item this is what suppose i am considering it as a number or a data item so here in array we can store more than one data item right but it is not the complete definition complete definition i will tell you step by step right so now if suppose i want to store row number of 60 students of my class then and type obviously you have to tell the compiler the type based on that only you have the compiler will allocate you space the in memory in memory memory manager will allocate you space so suppose row number are obviously of integer type i am taking what name of here names i am taking a only and now you have to tell the size means how many number you want to store 60 right in these brackets size is 60 so this is what array now here data type a is what name of array if you want to take any name b any a b c or anything you can take better to take a meaningful name suppose i want to store row number so better to take here what name what row number so i am taking here what int row number and size is 60 so name of my array is row number size is 60 and data type is integer so this is what declaration of array this is how you declare an array right so now how many bytes would be allocated to this when this would be compiled then how many bytes would be allocated integer will take four bytes into how many number you want to store how many data items 60 so how many bytes would be allocated 240 bytes would be allocated here right and how these 240 bytes would be allocated in consecutive memory locations continuous it's not like that here allocated 4 bytes then leaves uh, leave some space then 10 bytes then leave some space then uh, in another place 20 bytes something like this no these 240 bytes would be allocated in consecutive uh, memory locations like from 1000 it is going to start suppose from 1000 it is going to start till how many bytes 1000 and 240 then how many bytes till 1240 the address would be 1240 till then continuous these memory locations would be allocated to this and now you can store here 60 numbers right so now i hope need is clear to you why array what is need of array now what is array here just i am taking a simple array int a and size is only 5 i am taking right so now the declaration is also clear to you how to declare array general syntax if you write then what you will write here data type then what name of array and then in this bracket what size of array and semicolon this is what general syntax to declare array this is 1d array 2d array is also there multi-dimensional array is also there 1d array means here we have only one row and multiple columns right now see the proper definition of array see here one one point you know it is what collection of more than one data item right but 
second point is what the condition here is what or you can see the constraint here is what all the data items should be of same type like suppose this is what integer the name of I mean the data type of this array is what integer so all the five numbers must be of integer type right it's not like that you can store two integer type two character and one float no all should be of integer type like I can store here 5 number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or maybe 10, 20, 0, minus 1, 0. These are of integer type. This is correct. This is correct. But if you want to store here 10, 20 and uh, 1.2 and uh, 0 and 2.2, this is not correct. These are what integer but this is what float. So, this is wrong. So, the condition is what? You can store more than one data item, but all the data items should be of same type. This is the condition, right? Or you can say that homogeneous data item. Collection of, array is what? Collection of homogeneous data items. And array can be of any type, like here, this is what I am taking, integer type, integer type of array. You can also take float or b and size is 10. Here, all the 10 data items should be of float type. You can also take character array char c 10. Here all the data items, the 10 data items you want to store in this array should be of character type. So now you, what you can say array is what collection of homogeneous data items which are stored in huh, contiguous memory locations. I will also discuss memory representation of array, 1D array, 2D array also multidimensional array in a separate video. right? When, when once we have complete all the concepts of arrays, everything about arrays, then you can form a complete proper definition, right? But here in this, for this video, just uh, you, you have to, uh, uh, you know, remember what collection of data items which are of same type or collection of homogeneous data items which are stored in contiguous memory locations, right? Now, I guess need is clear and what is array is clear. Now, declaration of array. Declaration is also clear, clear this is the general syntax, right? But now, see, here you have to take care, you have to take care some points, something like this. If I write here something like this, I am not specifying the size, but when you will write this line and here semicolon, it will give error. The compiler will give error, you have to specify the size, one thing you need to take care. Second thing, what you need to take care about declaration, here you can only specify what any constant like 5, 10, 15, anything constant. But here you cannot write minus like minus 5, this would be incorrect. So you can say what more specifically you can say, this should be a positive number, positive constant or if you say more specifically then what you can say, this is also correct. If you declare something like this int a. 2 plus 2. Is this correct? Yes, this is correct. 2 plus 2 is equivalent to 4 and 4 is what? Positive constant. Okay, fine. This is also fine. Int a 3 into 2. 3 into 2 is 6. 6 is also constant. This is also fine. You can declare something like this. And what you can declare? You can also declare something like this. Int a and here you can write 10 by 2. This is also fine, right? That would be 5, right? And if you write something like this 11 by 2, that is also 5. Now, so this is what you can say it's a uh, expression also. So, one thing you need to take care the size of array should be a positive expression, can be positive regular expression, right? This, this is what expression only because here we are writing operands and operator. So, this is what expression. This is right, this is right, this is also right, this is incorrect, blank is also incorrect, right. And if you write something like this int, suppose I am writing a and uh, here another variable b is equal to 11 by 2, this would also give error, right. Or you have to tell me, you have to try this and you have to tell me, is it correct or not. You can also declare before this line int b because I am taking another variable b. Int b and int a is equal to, in bracket you will say b is equal to any expression 11 by 2. 
So you have to tell me this will give error or this is correct. And this is what 1D array because here we have only when you declare something like this, I am taking this example, then what? 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This name of this array is what? A, right? And here we can store 5 numbers. So, this is what 4 bytes, this is what 4 bytes. How many bytes total have been allocated to? This array 4 into 5 that is 20 bytes. Suppose was address is started from 1000, then this address would be what? The next element, address of next element would be 1004, 4 bytes for 1 integer, then 8, then 12, then 1016. This is how in contiguous memory location 20 bytes would be allocated to this array. And one more thing in uh, this declaration, see you cannot write something like this int a and size is n. Suppose you are taking in int n and you are writing here the variable. No, this should be what? A constant. So, this is what incorrect. Right? You have to try it at your own. But you can use macros. In that case, you can write here what that whatever macro name you take. How macros C. I hope you are aware about macros. Uh, before main function, we declare what hash define ma macro name is I am taking n and size I am taking 5. Here we will write what header files. And then in main function, what I am declaring array in A and here I can take size what the name of the macro is n. This is correct. That would be replaced with this 5. So, this is what macro and it is better to when you use array it is better to use macros to define to uh, the, the size of the array. Why it is better to use macros that I will show you in next video right. So, that, that is correct. But this is what not correct. So, everything the practical we will see in next video only. I think that is it for this video. In the next video, I will tell you what uh, initialization of arrays, right. And I will show you this, this macro is this correct or not and why it is better to use macros when we are uh, you know, uh, uh, dealing with arrays. Right? On my laptop, I will show you in the next video. But for this video, that is it and you have to practice at your own. You have to try all these declaration, whether these are correct or not, maybe I am wrong, whether these are you know giving error or not. One more thing you have to try what int a and the size is 0. Is this correct or not? This declar de de declaration correct or not? Right? So, you have to tell me in comment, comment box for this and this. You have to try these for your own. Right? I will show you on my laptop in next video. Right. So, now I think that is it for this video. I hope you are clear with the need of array, why array, uh, definition of array, not proper definition we have discussed because uh, all the properties we are discussing one by one in all the videos. But that whatever we have discussed in this video that you have uh, I think you are clear with that thing and the declaration of arrays and different different types of declaration how you can declare array. Right. So, I will see you in the next video till then bye. Take care.